Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight and I have such fun cards to share with you. I can't hardly wait. I am going to get myself up here on my iPad so I can see your comments when I turn the camera around. All right. Oh, I see people coming in. We have a whole bunch. Joy, you're the first one. Oh, no, Pat, and then Joy, and then Luba. Welcome. So happy to see you guys. I was just telling Haley, who is right over there. She's here helping me this afternoon. I was just telling her. What was I just telling you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> You guys know I have some issues, right? <laughs> I was just telling her how much I really like this okay. crown better than my other one. See, she couldn't remember either. Um, because it doesn't smoosh my hair down in my eyes with that, with the tiara that goes way up to here. So I'm really liking this one. Of course, it won't work for summer because that's kind of weird, right? Well, maybe wearing a tiara altogether is a little weird. I've heard that before, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, I see so many people coming in. We have Chris from Australia and Sue Eileen is watching and Sonia is here from Montreal, snowy Montreal. We have snow on the ground here in Menasha, but it is not snowing right now. So it's been just bitter cold, super duper cold. Um, guess whose birthday it is today? It's not mine. It's Steve's birthday, you guys. Woohoo! He, um... Okay, so I have to tell you, he is 61 years old. He was born in 1961, and this is the only time I think in his life he will have a full house in his birth date. He told me that. <laughs> the things that people think of, right? So he was born 1 61 and he is 61 years old this year. And he will always be older than dirt to me. <laughs> He loves it when I say that too, you know. So last night we went to a fabulous supper club, Blanks on the Lake. Um, it's between here and, well, Oshkosh and Fond du Lac. And I did not get to have lobster, so that was a little disappointing. Because they haven't been able to get their lobster in because of, you know, things. And, um, yeah, everybody's wishing them happy birthday. Thank you guys so much. Um... So I didn't get to have lobster, but I had broiled scallops, and that was the next best thing, right? I love I love seafood, so I was happy to get that. And all the guys, so we go out with Steve's buddies from high school. He has two other very best friends that have a birthday within a few days of each other. So like Mike's birthday was on Friday. I think maybe Tim's birthday was Thursday. I don't remember, and Steve's birthday is today. So um, we all... We all get together for that birthday dinner once a year. And so it's really pretty cool. We've been doing it. How long have we been married? I never know this. I'm 27, so 29 years. 29 years we've been married. This year? No, it'll be okay. 30 this year. Oh, it'll be 30 years this year. And we have done this birthday dinner in January every single year. So yay! It's really fun. I just really enjoy them. I like their wives, girlfriends, so that's cool too. And... um we had a really good time, and then we were home by 10 p.m. <laughs> like, we're real party animals, right? Oh, my gosh. It's kind of pathetic. But, anyways, I don't know if you guys saw my blog hop. Um, oh, I had another one, too. Let me look and see what that other one was about. Oh, this is the one. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm looking to see what the one was last week. Okay, I, I got it. I, it's all here under control. <laughs> But you guys have to see this. So this is the Calming Camellia stamp set. Look at how beautiful that is, right? And here's one of the cards I made. Ah, this is the, um, what is that called? Um, something and Home designer series paper. Somebody will know it. One side is colorful prints and the other side is whitewashed wood grain. And I just love it. But this is a little pocket. And, oh, I should show you the pocket card and where I got that idea from. I don't know if it's laying here anymore. I don't think it is. But anyways, one of my team members did a swap with this layout. So I used it to make a card for my blog hop. And this is a little, little card that goes inside the pocket. And you guys will find all of the information on this. It's on my blog, www. Let me get it back in here. 
www.estampabove.com. So this was one card. And this was the other one. Ooh, I just love both of them. These are the new... Oh, what is that set called with the... Do you have the mini catalog over there, Haley? Uh, I, no, Did I, I gave it to you. Yes, I need to see that. Because this is going to make me crazy. I don't know why my brain, all of a sudden, it just doesn't work sometimes. I know I'm not the only one, right? Um, it is the Heart and Home Suite, for Pete's sakes. Heart and Home. I just couldn't get that first word. So... Those are the heart and home doilies that come in three different colors, and I used Wisteria Wonder. That's retired a million years ago. Isn't it funny how that can pop into my head, but I can't remember something that I just worked with? Yeah. Um, fresh Freesia, you guys. Fresh Freesia. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you for understanding. You guys are so sweet. You always put up with my crazy, right? So we've got those two cards. And then I have this beauty. This went out in a blog hop this week. <gasps> this uses the free celebration paper, the sunshine and rainbows. I can remember that one. And I absolutely love this. This took about 20 minutes from start to finish. I was so shocked at how easy it is to create with that bundle of products. And then I have a little box here that I'm trying to find. Here it is. I wanted to show this to you. So we've got this cute card. And then look at this. This is one of the little, sweet little treat boxes. These are in our mini catalog right now. And you get 10 of them for $10. And I'm trying to find them. Sweet little boxes, they're called. Look at how cute that is. And I used it with the sunshine and rainbows, rainbows of happiness stamp set and dies. Super cute, right? I know. I was so proud of this, and it just makes me happy. I love it. All right, what else do I have to share with you tonight? I told you it's Steve's birthday today. Yay! And I did this afternoon, um, well, first of all, Herod, Herod and Jaylee. <laughs> <laughs> Haley and Jared came over with Val for breakfast. We had French toast and venison breakfast sausages. Mm, love them. And then they hung around for a while, and when they went home, um, I took a nap. And it was right during a football game that wasn't going that well, so it was okay. And then I got up and started preparing for tonight. But um, in between that, I made Steve a cake because he loves yellow cake with chocolate frosting. So I made him one, and I got it all frosted. And when we get done tonight, I'm going to have some with a glass of milk. I see, I see somebody says that I keep freezing up. I'm so sorry that's happening to you. Um, I am not freezing up on my screen here, so I'm thinking it's your internet service is not working that great. Linda in Phoenix is having video problems. Sonda's have. can you pull me up on your phone mm -hmm. and turn up the volume and see if I am freezing up because we, you know, I don't know what I can do about it. Okay, Kathy says no freezing up at her place. She's in Florida at her vacation home. So I think your your internet is not working well tonight. So sleepy, snowy West Virginia. <laughs> Hi, Cynthia. Okay, um, John update. So I don't really have anything to report on John. He, um, one thing you guys that it's freezing up, you may want to shut, close me, and then refresh your screen whatever device you're on if it's a phone you just pull it down from the top if it's an iPad you pull it down from the top and let it go and that'll refresh your screen and then try again because it may work better if you do that and I'm just going to be chit-chatting for a little bit here so you won't miss anything like stamping wise but um John update so I don't really have any reports on John um, I haven't seen John but I can tell you that this morning his truck, which is black, and we kind of, we have our driveway and then his driveway. His truck was covered in a hoar frost this morning. Do you guys know what that is? Like, my mom always said that, and, and it's a thing. But I always feel a little funny about saying whore. <laughs> so I always kind of laugh a little bit in my head when I say hoar frost. <laughs> I know. That's it. That's all I got on John. I got nothing else. Um, I haven't seen him. He hasn't been going any place. I don't even know if he's home. So, <laughs> Suzanne says it's not freezing up there. Okay, thank you, Suzanne. Um, oh, and Haley says it's good on her end, too. 
she's making beautiful things for me right now that I will be sharing with you, so don't worry. And she told me I can't have her on the camera because she doesn't look that great tonight. Doesn't she look beautiful? <laughs> Come here, you look so cute. <laughs> she does. It doesn't matter, right? Makeup, schmakeup. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Oh my gosh, I just read something on my sheet that looks like a very naughty word, but it's actually flicking. I just went, oh! <laughs> Linda, Linda Champ sent me a message today, and she asked me if I would demo flicking markers. So when we turn the camera around, I will do that. And I looked at it, and I went, oh! And then I remembered it was flicking markers. Look at how cute Haley is. Look at her little belly. <laughs> I know, that's my grandson Dawson. He's due March 8th and today he was like making her belly go like this. It was crazy. It was everywhere. She's so cute. Connie's Connie's on here. She said you're so cute. Debbie says you look beautiful. She does, doesn't she? Oh, yeah, Kathy says hi. Everybody's saying hi, Haley. Hello. <laughs> So, um, I just wanted to let you guys know I have a special award tonight. Well, like a prize, not an award. I have a special prize tonight because you guys pushed me over 25,000 subscribers on YouTube. Woohoo! That, that gives me some type of a online medal on YouTube. So, I appreciate that. And if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, head over there and click on that subscribe button. You just look me up by my name and you'll find me. Click on subscribe because that really helps me in the analytics that YouTube then sends my video video out more because I have more people subscribed. I guess that's how it works. I don't really know, but it's all, it's all, I don't know, foreign to me, right? But anyways, um, I really appreciate you guys being um, a subscriber on my YouTube channel. The other thing I wanted to let you know, my classes this month, we've got a slimline class, which is what Haley's working on right now. Okay. And can I just say the first card she made is absolutely gorgeous. So, um, Slimline, can I see those dies for a second? And that stamp set, are they, do you have them right there? Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is Slimline right here. It's got some really big greetings. I know these are backwards, but you, you know, they're just big greetings. And um, here are, whoops, I just threw the thing on the floor. Here are the dies. There's more too, right? No. Is there well, one? There's one more border. There's one more border die, but these are for slimline cards. Those are the cards that are, that are like business size envelopes. And then we have envelopes too. So this is a slim slimline card size, and this would be like a regular card size. So they're a little bit bigger. And then we are going to be using this in our class this month. That's the one that I do with Barb and Dina. And this is the beautiful paper that we're going to be using. This is called Symbols of Fortune. And it is, Haley is in love with it because she loves gold. So mm -hmm. she is having a blast over there creating some really pretty cards for this class. So I can't hardly wait. Um, oh, and there's one more border that goes with this too. I told you that. Hang on, let me get all this stuff picked up. Thank you very much. So that online class is... I just threw something over there. That online class is um, going to be advertised soon. I don't think I have it up and advertised yet because I'm not quite ready for that. And um, what else? I have Bingo Wednesday night. If you did not register for Bingo, I do have some packets left. So please register for Bingo. It's $35. You get about $20 worth of product in it. Um, we are, it's a card class with a little bingo thrown in between the cards that I'm going to be sharing. You get pre-cut card stock for all five cards plus the product. Um, I don't remember what we have this. Oh, adhesive backed hexacons, brand new, brushed brass butterflies, brand new. You're going to get that. You're going to get five envelopes. You're going to get a half a pack of the Daffodil Afternoon um, Designer Series paper. And there are three bundles or stamp sets we're using. For the record, Happy Hedgehogs Bundle or Amazing Silhouettes Bundle. So if you have those, it's perfect. If you don't, you can add them onto your order. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry for you guys that are having problems with the videos, but my video here is working okay. So 
like I said, I think it's your internet and I'm, and I'm sorry. Cause that sucks. Right. <laughs> um, okay. I also have just a couple packets for the catalog kickoff left. Everything on the catalog kickoff is recorded. So you can go back and watch it anytime. And those packets are $48. They include over $30 in product and they are fantastic. So again, I only have like maybe one or two packets left. You go to my blog, look for online classes, click on it. You will find the um, January to June catalog kickoff packets. If it's still there, register for it. Because once I'm full, once I'm sold out, I will put on there sold out so you can't register for it. But don't wait, okay? Some people email me and say, do you have any of those packets left? Don't do that because by then I will not. <laughs> it's first come, first serve. So just know that. Please make sure that you are clicking on that share button right now. Sharing is caring. That really helps me um, build my business. And if you share it right to your profile, you never know who may be on there that wants to see a stamping class and maybe start stamping. The other thing you need to do is comment. You get entered in a prize drawing for commenting, so please make sure you leave a comment so you, I can put your name in the um, drawings. And also, click on that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you are watching later on YouTube, click on the bell. That way you'll get notifications when a new video comes out from me. So you always want to do that. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. That's awesome. Thumbs up on Facebook is a like. Thank you so much. I need to know if I have any stampers in the Sarasota area. Yeah, so if you're in the Sarasota area, if you could please pop me an email. My email is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. I would love to hear from you because mm -hmm. next week, Monday, mm -hmm. Steve and I are leaving for Sarasota. And we're going to be down there for a whole month. <gasps> I know, right? So, I want to find out if there's any stampers in the area because I am going to be working. Um, he's going to be golfing a lot. I am going to be working. And so, I would maybe like to get together with somebody down there in case I forget something because I'm taking stuff with me that I could borrow it or come over and stamp with you or meet you or whatever. It would be awesome. So, please, please let me know. I would love that. Um, da, 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 da. when we get done with this video and this gets posted to YouTube underneath the video is a description and there will be a link there right to my blog of all the projects we're going to make tonight where you're going to find still photos because sometimes it's just nice to look at a photo right when you're trying to recreate something I do and um, also there will be dimensions there because the things that we're going to make tonight have some dimensions as usual, but a little more than usual. You're going to love it. And also you'll find a complete ingredient list, which is the shopping list. So if I use a red ink pad, I put that in the shopping list. If I use a red marker that goes in the shopping list, so you know exactly what I used, you can go look at that shopping list for your ingredient list to recreate what I'm making. So I just want you to know that. Somebody says I have a troll. You guys will take care of them. I know you will. Thank you so much. Mm. One other thing. I noticed that there are men commenting under your comments on my Facebook page. And as much as I can, I go in and block them. But it's exhausting, okay? So just ignore them. No, It's no fun if you don't engage them, right? So just ignore them, and I'll try to take care of them as much as I can. All right, I think I get everything. I have some prizes to award, and I definitely love doing that, right? So first up, for commenting on my Facebook Live last time, <laughs> I know everybody wants to come stamp with me. I feel so special. Um, I am going to be giving away... The Subtle Shimmer Sequence, and I actually have one full pack here and a partial, and I thought I'd just send that along too. These are great for shaker cards or embellishing your cards, your, your beautiful designs. And I have a Corner Bouquet stamp set. Now, this was one of our celebration sets from a couple times ago. And um, our winner is Tanya Oswald of Gilbert, South Carolina. Congratulations, Tanya. If you have this stamp set, please pay it forward and give it to somebody who doesn't. 
Um, maybe you have a teenager that would love to stamp something or you know somebody who stamps, pay it forward, give it to them. You're gonna get these fabulous sequins. Next up, for sharing my last Facebook Live, I am going to send the beautiful square vellum doilies. I've got a whole pack here and the Heal Your Heart stamp set. And this is the same thing. This is a um, celebration set from a, a long time ago. This is going out to D. Esplana of Coparis Cove. I hope I say that. Coparis Cove, Texas. And D, if you already have this, please pay it forward and gift it to somebody else. I am going to get these in the mail to you on Tuesday. We don't have mail tomorrow because it's Martin Luther King Day. Yay. Yay. Haley has off school tomorrow, so that's why she's here. And my husband. And her husband is a mailman, so he's off, he's off too. All right, next up. For placing an order with me in the last week, I also do a drawing for that. I have the beautiful special moment stamp set. This was also a, oh, this is a current celebration set. You can get this right now with a $100 order. This is one of the free things you can choose. And this has 21 different sentiments in it. Tanya's on here. She says, I won. <laughs> Yay, Tanya. Woo um, you're going to get special moments and, not Tanya, this is a different person, special moments and congratulations to D2. And the beautiful Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. This is for your order, and this is going out to Carol Cravener of Erie, Pennsylvania. Congratulations! I'm so excited to be giving this to you. Next up, I said I was going to do something special when I hit 25,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I drew a name from... All the people who have interacted since last week on my on my Facebook Live because it's come about um, the twenty five thousand. I got the beautiful in your words. This is a gorgeous stamp set with ten different sentiments in it. I love this thing. It is fantastic. I also have a pack of the simply marvelous, which we're using tonight, designer series paper. Both of these are going out to June Franco of Gardenia, California for hitting my 25,000 subscriber mark on YouTube. Yay! Congratulations! So everybody can watch for their fun mail coming on. Well, I'll get it out of here on Tuesday. Okay. Now, what else am I going to do here? I think it's is it I think it's time to stamp. Haley, stamp mm -hmm. set. That's yours. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to take a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? My throat is a little, like, parched. It's weird. Oh, I know. I wanted to show you one more thing before I do that. So I'm going to flip my camera around. We're going to start stamping in just a minute, but I want to show you a couple things before we do that. So hang tight. You guys can look up my nose for a little bit. Just kidding. Nobody needs to see that, right? I'll get you lined up here so everything is, I hope, straight, because I hate it when it's not. That looks pretty good. One thing I wanted to show you. So I'm going to get rid of my, um, what I was looking at here, and I'm going to go on Chrome. I just wanted to show you. Let's go right over here. There we go. This is my blog, and for those of you that are not familiar with it or have never been there, I want to show you, um, this is the cards that I just showed you tonight right here. All the really important stuff is over here in this column. This is where you would go to order online. This is my online store. You just touch that or click on it if you're on a laptop. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my blog, you will get a email every time I add something new by adding your email address in right here and then clicking subscribe. You're going to get an email that asks you to confirm your subscription. You just click on it and open it and it'll it'll do its thing. Here is my current host code. That is the code that you can see right here. So if you place an order with me that's under $150, I really appreciate it if you use this code and this where you can this is where you can find it very easily. This is my blog. And it's right here in that column. Also, 
If you ever need to see the online catalogs, when you click on this mini catalog cover, it'll open the catalog up online, as well as the celebration brochure and even the annual catalog will open up. It's crazy, right? This is my information about my online technique club. When you click on that, you'll find all the details about how what's involved, what you have to do, what you get, and how to join. And then right here in this column is my online classes. Now, if you're on a phone, you might need to refresh your screen. And to do that, you do it the same way you do it on an iPad. You don't grab it at the top, but you grab it someplace other than the top and you flick it like that and that'll refresh your screen on your phone or your iPad. So if you're on a phone, you're not gonna see this column over here, okay? Oh, and here's where you join my team. You can check out the information about the $99 kit. Um, I've got some free downloads on here, so you can click on this. It'll open up a project sheet that you can print or save to your computer making this card right here. It's pretty sweet. Here's another one. Click on that. It'll open up. You can print it. Um, it's got all the dimensions. It's got a picture in it. It's got instructions, or you can save it to your computer. And then this is a blog hop. So when you scroll down here, you can click on any of these names and see other projects with the same theme. Here's that shopping list I was telling you about or ingredient list. If you're wondering what color ink did she use, here's the ink that I use for these projects. Also, I have an ordering special going on right now until um, the end of January. When you place a $75 order with me, you're going to get this abstract beauty ephemera pack for free. Here's information on joining my team, whether you want to be a discount shopper or a business builder. It's all right there. Here's information about Stamp Happy Academy. You can click right there to see it. Here you can get to my online classes this way as well as in that column link. And I have a few catalogs. This is at the bottom of every single blog post. There's that current host code that was up here. So I just wanted to tell you guys about that because I know sometimes we don't always know all this stuff and it's nice to have a little refresher. Click on online classes. This is where you're going to find a little question and answer that'll hopefully answer any questions you have. Here's bingo. You click right here to, to register. Tells you all the details in there. Oh, I do have that slimline class up. I didn't think I did. Here's where you can order the slimline class and exactly what is included with option one, option two, or option three. Option three is available globally. Here's those catalog kickoff packets I was just talking about. And then it just goes on to the rest of my online classes that I have available. And if it still says you can register, that means I still have them in stock. We have Borders in Bloom, which was fabulous. I still have those available. So I just wanted to let you guys... Oh my gosh, she just made another card, you guys. And I like to keep my cards as an element of surprise. But can I just say, holy cow, the next card she just designed is crazy beautiful. Register for the slimline class, not lying. Okay, I think what I'm going to do first is we are going to play around with the Cactus Cuties. Oh my gosh. So this particular bundle is part of the catalog kickoff. This is one of the bundles we're using. So I just got done with a live class that uses this where we made two adorable cards that are going to be part of the catalog kickoff make and takes that you get in your packet. Remember, that particular um, class, catalog kickoff, is $48 and you get over $30 in merchandise in your packet. Like embellishments and ribbon and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Okay. We are going to make a super duper cute card using this particular bundle. Now the ca Cactus Cuties comes with a stamp set and a fun little punch. I'm also bringing in the thanks and hello embossing folders. You get both of these in a pack. I think they're like $10, but they both come together called thanks and hello. So we're going to be using those. And what else? Oh, I got to find my ink colors. Um, 
Hang on, I didn't have that ready. I've got cinnamon cider here and granny apple green. Where's my granny apple green? Oh, do you have it here? I do not. Oh, I found it. It's right here. Granny apple green and memento black. And I think that's good. Okay, here we go. Now, this is a swap card. Hang on, I just dropped some. All right, love you. Okay, love you too. Bye, honey. Drive safe. Haley's coming back tomorrow. She's got to get home. She messaged me today and said, I really miss stamping with you. Can I come over and stamp for a little bit? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. She's like, do you need any help with anything? Uh, yeah, <laughs> of course I do. So I was really happy to have her here. Okay, we're going to be using pool party as our card base and again remember I put all of these dimensions on my blog with still photos so it'll be so much easier if you just go over there if you want to recreate these so this is five and a half by eight and a half let me find a bone folder those seem to disappear on me a lot my bone folders oh I don't have any comments coming up hang on there we go sorry you guys all right and then I've got a white layer. This is four by five and a quarter. That's going to go on the inside. I've got a scrap of, hmm, this is a scrap of Bermuda Bay, but you know what? I think I'm going to change that and I'm going to go with Calypso Coral. I've got another card that I made in different, with different designer paper and different colors. And I'll show that to you guys too. So we're going to go with Calypso Coral. Well, maybe not. We're going to go with Flirty Flamingo. Hang on, I'm changing my mind right and left here. Yep, this is the color. We're going to go with Flirty Flamingo. <clears throat> then I have a another piece of Pool Party. And this is three and an eighth by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to bring in a little sliver of our Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. And that's this pack. It's free with your $50 order. So if you put in a $50 order, you can choose this or many other things. Um, if you choose, if you place a $100 order, you can get two of these or two of anything that is available in our Celebration brochure. So that's what that's all about. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here, oh, and you're going to need a scrap of white, so I'm going to grab a little scrap of white. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss this layer, and my other card says, well, I use the hello, and I think I'm going to use the hello again, so I'm going to use the hello embossing folder, and I'm just going to set this in here, and I'll be right back. I'm going to run it through. Hang on while I drop my plates on the floor. <clears throat> I feel like I have a frog in my throat. I think I'm good now. Don't let me forget to show my mail. I've got some really fantastic mail to share with you. Okay, isn't that pretty? Like, I love this. And so the other one says, thanks, merci, danke all the different languages. So I just thought that was really cool. Okay, we're gonna take this and put it right at the top. So we're doing tone on tone here. And I, I don't know, but I really like that look. Thank you for reporting Destiny, Debbie. Lots of trolls coming on, you know, and it's just, it's one of those things. The more popular you get, the more weird stuff you have happening. So you guys tear them up, rip them apart. <laughs> I know you will. I love it. Okay, and this piece needs to be ooh, just a little bit smaller. So hang on. I am going to cut this down. This is going to be three quarters by five and a quarter. And I cut it at one inch, I think. It was probably for a different project, and I decided to use it for this one. I got to keep this in here. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Oh, look at this little piece. Maybe we'll use that, too. And then five and a quarter. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm sitting here trying to decide all the things that I need to take with me. And I've started a list already. Like, I don't want to forget something that's super important. But then Haley was like, how on earth are you going to, you know, figure out what to take or whatever? I said, don't worry. Because Stampin' Up! ships to Florida just as well as they ship to Wisconsin, right? So if I forget something, I'll decide if I need it bad enough. And if I do, I can order it. So no big deal. <laughs> okay. Isn't that pretty, you guys? I love these colors. And Pool Party is one of the colors that's in this sunshine and rainbows. Hi, Joe. I'm so happy to see you here. So here we go. Now. We're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of stamping here with our cute little set. Um, I'm gonna get my Granny Apple. Whoops! Did you see that? Look what I did. Yep. Good thing I just asked Haley to give me her baby wipes over there because mine are empty and I need to get to the store. Like, do you guys ever have that where it's like you just can't get any place? Like I haven't been to the store. I think I've been writing a list for a week and a half now. But it has been really cold, so who wants to go out in that? Ugh. Okay, I am going to take my Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to do this little cactus. And now you need to look at your punch to see where do you need to put this in. And I see that this one is right over here. So if I put it in, if I, if I stamp it right here, that should be good, right? Nope, because I did it wrong. <laughs> oh, no, I did it right. Like, oh, my good Lord, how did I do that wrong? I got it. Okay, so here's my little cactus guy. Then I'm going to take and do the pot. And I'm doing that with cinnamon cider because I just think that's a good clay pot color, right? Where's my punch? I got to see, where do I put this in? I'm going to put this one in right here. So that when I go to punch it, I'm not wasting all this other scrap of white. You guys know what I mean, right? Ouch, I just pinched myself, but not really bad. If you guys ever pinch yourself and it like turns purple, it's horrible. <laughs> beware, beware of the punch. Okay, so we have this done and this done. Now we're going to do a little stamping. This little piece right here is three quarters by three and I am going to stamp my I hope your day is on point and we're going to use black ink for that so I am going to stamp that right here oh I did really good Woo! okay and then Hmm. Hang on, I'm going to grab a, oh, I think Haley took that punch. I'm looking for my, here it is, my banner pick-a-punch. Now, if you don't have this, you could you can order one, but you can also use your scissors. But I really like this punch. I'm going to make sure that I don't cut too much off here. We have Molly again today, too. We had her last week, but she doesn't have school tomorrow either, so... That's fun. We're having a sleepover tonight. I heard her and Steve downstairs yelling. Good yelling, like they were playing a game. <laughs> so that was fun. Not like bad yelling, like meh, but good yelling. Okay, now I'm going to take that flirty flamingo and I'm going to punch out a little flower because these little flowers are so stinking adorable. And where'd my ribbon go? Oh, here's my ribbon. I've got our white, basic white crinkled seam binding. And I'm just going to tie a little bow. I just wanted some type of a little tiny embellishment on here. And so we'll get this tiny little bow tied because it's going to be so cute. I get to go get my nails done this week. So that's good because they're getting kind of grown out and... I don't know. I think I need to get some hearts instead of some snowflakes, right? Okay, that looks pretty good. Find my scissors. Ouch. <laughs> These scissors are so pointy and sharp. Be careful with them. They will. They will make you bleed. Okay, so here's our cute little bow. We got that done. And next what I'm going to do... 
is get some dimensionals. Well, let's get our little basket of goodness. I call this my basket of goodness. Here comes some dimensionals. Here comes some baby dimensionals. Grab this. I'm going to put a big dimensional here and here. Let's pick that off right away. Joe wants to know if I've ever used Color Street for my nails. I haven't, Joe, and I'll tell you why. And you guys can laugh at me if you want. I do not want to do my own nails. I just, I just do not have time for that. And I know that when I get my nails done at the salon, they're going to last me at least three weeks. And so I don't do, I don't do my own nails. Um, there's a lot of things I don't do that that I can say that that is my one indulgence. You know what I mean? We all pick and choose what we want to spend money on, money on, and that is what I spend my money on is my nails because I don't want to do them. And I know I've heard Color Street is really easy, and I've seen it. It's very pretty, but I just I don't want to deal with it. So, yeah, thanks for asking, though, because I have seen it, and I think it's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to put that right on here, and then I'm going to take this little pot, and this little pot is just the right width to cover up the end of my banner. And then we're going to come right in here. I'm going to tuck this into the pot a little bit. And does anybody see, oh, here's our flower. We're gonna do our little flower here. Oh, and Pam says she loves getting her nails done. It's so relaxing. Well, do you wanna hear something really sick, Pam? <laughs> I hate it. Like, I literally hate, I hate it. Like, <laughs> for me to sit there and do nothing for an hour makes me crazy like it's not relaxing for me I don't know I'm just such a weirdo and even getting a pedicure which is a little bit more relaxing for me I still would rather not be there I wish that I wish that I could just magically twinkle my nose you know like Samantha Stevens in Bewitched and have my nails and toes done and not have to deal with any of it <laughs> how sick is that I know, and I know people that just love to go get their nails done. Bless your heart. I wish I was like that, but I, I don't love it. I hate it. So I'm really weird. There we go. I got to, there, that looks better. Okay, I'm going to trim this up just a touch. Now, this is a super easy little card, and I don't know about you guys, but I prefer a punch over a die any day because it's just so much easier. Let me grab some embellishments. I have some of these. These are my favorite new embellishments, the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. These are in our um, JJ Mini catalog, and they just rock my world. They are so pretty. That little bit of bling. Isn't that just gorgeous? Yeah. Okay. Now, I had another... I need to do something with the inside, right? Where's the inside? Oh, look. I chopped it up. <laughs> oh, dear Lord Kelly. Here's another inside. Don't worry, I have plenty. <laughs> I need a um, happy birthday sentiment for the inside. So hang on. And I think I am going to use, I'll use this set because I love these birthday sentiments. Um... I hate to jinx myself with this, right? This is something you would stamp when your birthday card is late. <laughs> so, oh, Shana, is it Shana or Shanna? Shanna says the same thing. She hates going to. <laughs> I do too. I just hate it. And you know what I really wish if it wasn't rude? Because I don't want to be rude to anybody. But what I really wish is that they would have like a recliner that I could just fall asleep in so I could take a nap and make use of my time <laughs> while it was there. Yeah, that's what I wish, that I could take a nap and they I could just, they wake me up, my nails and toes are done. <laughs> Boy, what a butthead, huh? <laughs> but I really do hate it. I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, here's... Enjoy, it's your day. We're going to be using this on another card. This is happiest of birthdays. And I I love big greetings and I cannot lie. 
You guys know that song, right? I love big butts. Well, this is one of my favorite greeting sets. I think that's why I'm going to like that slimline set so much too, because those greetings are huge. Now, just because I had to cut this off that other piece, I'm going to use it because why wouldn't you, right? Oops, let's get that back on there. Okay. So for those of you that are in the JJ catalog kickoff, you have now another idea card with your cactus cuties. So this is just another one. And of course you could use any of the rainbow and sunshine designer series paper, like any type of the patterns with it. I just think they're so pretty and fresh. I love them. I just love them. There we go. So I would, oh, you know what? Hmm. Let's grab an envelope. Oh, I didn't put envelopes in there either. Hang on. I got to spread envelopes all over. We need envelopes. Like I can't, I can't do that to anybody. All right. I'm going to take this pot. This is a different, right? This is, yeah, this is a different pot than that one. I'm going to stamp that in the cinnamon cider. And then I'm going to grab a little post-it note. And I am going to add that right to the edge of my pot. Oh, that's a little too high. I don't want there to be a gap. But I don't want my cactus that I'm going to stamp over this to be down in my pot because that looks weird, right? Keep the cactus out of the pot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to stop now. All right, here we go. Granny Apple Green again. And you'll notice I did a card the other day, so I put little marks here. This is where my pot ends, so I know where to stamp it on here. Here comes my cute little cactus. Oh, oh, I got a little bit of a gap there. That makes me mad. You can see it right here. I wonder if I could get that back in there. It is just an envelope, so don't panic. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Boom. That was amazing. <laughs> Okay, and then, where's our cactus cuties? There's a little flower in here. Didn't I put that on a stamp? Oh yeah, here it is. So I'm going to grab Flirty Flamingo. Is that the color that we used on, where's our card? Yes, I'm gonna grab the Flirty Flamingo. And we're just gonna do that and that. Oh my gosh, you guys, is that not the cutest thing ever? This is our envelope. I was just looking to see, did I get the flap right? Yes, I did. And our cutie patootie little card. Now I made this for a swap. As a demonstrator, the month of December, most people are going crazy over Christmas, but Stampin' Up! demonstrators all over the world are going crazy making swaps with all this new stuff so that we can get fabulous ideas to share with you guys. So that was my swap. Here's another one. I used Bermuda Bay here, and this is the Sweet Talk Designer Series Paper. Let me grab that. If I can find it. Hang on. It's here someplace. There it is, right here. So this is the striped paper right here. So while this is Valentine Day and Valentine and Valentine, Valentine, most of the time, the other side of the paper is neutral. Okay, this is about love. This is stripes, stripes, and this is pretty much all Valentine. But you get a lot of other uses out of this paper. And I use the stripes right here to make this one. Isn't that cute? Love it. Okay, let me move this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> and we will move on to our other card. I have a little story about our other card. Here, let me put my dimensionals over there so I don't lose them. Oh, Haley took my cleaner. Hang on. Here it comes. This is my chamois. I sell these in my Stampin' Up! store. And I love it. I just think it's the greatest cleaner ever. You just do that and everything is done. It's quick and easy. You smush it in there and then you just rinse it out underwater. Who has the chamois? I just think it's the greatest invention ever. Okay, next. 
Now, I have kind of an interesting little story for you guys as I'm getting this next um, set of cards out, or the next card we're going to make. So, I got um, a message from one of my followers. I opened it up today, and she says to me, she says, Kelly, my nine-year-old granddaughter wants to learn how to make a waterfall card. And she said, can you show us how to make that? And I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding? I don't know what I'm making tonight, but I just don't know if I can just do that like today. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry at all, Naomi Alt. Because I'm like, that's an awesome idea. Let's make a waterfall card tonight. So Naomi's request is the one that brought this card about. And I just wanted to let you know that. I thought that was pretty cool. Because I really was like, oh, I can't do that tonight. And I'm like, why can't you do that tonight? You can totally do that tonight. So we are going to be using the Simply Marvelous 6x6 Designer Series paper. This paper is beautiful. You get, I think there's 48 sheets in the pack. And it is also a celebration item. So you get, with each $50 that you order before tax and shipping, you get to choose this as one of your free items if you would like. And um, I abs I love it. I love I love this paper. I think it's just so pretty. So I have got all my layers here. Let me set some of this stuff aside. I've also got another color combination to share with you that I made my sample out of so that I would know what I was doing because that never goes well if I don't make up a sample. <laughs> it's like a complete disaster most of the time. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this piece. This is one and seven eighths by nine, and we're going to do some scoring. Oh, and I wrote this down for you. Here are the score measurements. One and seven eighths by nine piece. You're going to score it two, two and three quarters, three and a half, and four and a quarter. So first score line is two. And again, you'll find all of these dimensions on my blog when I am done. I, I, oh, hang on, three, two and three quarters. When I'm done tonight, I upload this video to YouTube and I make a blog post with photographs of all these projects. You will find those on my blog. And if you're watching later on YouTube, you're going to click right up here. That thing is going to pop up on the screen. You can click on that. It'll take you right to my blog. It's pretty cool. Okay, so here's our scoring. It's just, it's that's it. Like, that's so simple, right? So now you're going to fold, 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 and fold. So it's going to look just like this. Okay? Looks kind of like a toboggan. Now, we are going to take, I've got two pieces. Oh, where did my other piece go? I need a white piece too. Hang on, I've got one right up here. Um, this needs to be three and three quarters. Yep. Okay, so we are going to take two pieces of our Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper, and we're gonna cut those four by five and a quarter, okay? And I chose the blue. And then I've got Misty Moonlight. Oh, there's my piece of paper I was looking for. I got Misty Moonlight. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's like a quarter sheet of cardstock. Vicki wants to know if I have the instructions on my sheet that shows the paper with the coordinating colors. I think you're talking about this. And all this is, Vicki, is you just print this information right here out on a piece of cardstock. And it's the name of the paper with the coordinating colors, which are on the back of all of our packs of cardstock. And then I cut these two inches by two inches, and you put them on here with one inch circles in those coordinating colors. That's all there is to it. So you're going to print that out. That's all that's on the page. And then you glue these on. That's how you do that. It's a wonderful um, resource. I use mine all the time. As a matter of fact, I gave Haley the one for the um, symphony or symbols of fortune today. I said, I like to use this to see the colors and whatever to try and design with, right? Okay, 
basic white, three and three quarters by five. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be using Awesome Otters. Who has this already? This is a free celebration item also. Not only is the paper free, but the Awesome Otters with your $50 order, you can choose this stamp set. Love, love, love this stamp set. <clears throat> I've got an envelope here. And now I'm going to get out all my little goodies. So hang tight. Uh, I've got a Memento ink pad here. I've got tear and tape. I've got my Misty Moonlight ink pad. I'm also going to be using this combo ribbon. And it is called Cotton Ribbon Combo Path. This is coming in the... Um, the catalog kickoff class packet. So you'll get a roll of each of the, these. It's petal pink and um, misty moonlight. So that's cool. Cotton ribbon combo pack. <clears throat> and then I've got a few blends here. We'll go over those. I'm going to use those iridescent rhinestones again because why wouldn't you? <laughs> and here comes our stamps. Oh, I'm using that stamp set again. Let me find it. I thought I set it aside. Mm. Oh, here it is. Happiest of birthdays. I'm going to use this sentiment set with my otters too. Okay. Let's get this going. So we're going to do um, our stamping first. And I'm going to take my three and three quarters by five inch basic white layer and I am going to use my Misty Moonlight ink and I'm going to stamp my big, great big birthday greeting on here. Yay! Debbie says her otters are on their way. This is the cutest stinking set ever. There we go. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. I just love that. That makes me happy. Okay, I am going to take this and I'm going to add it to this layer. Okay, whoops, I got a little crooked. Hang on. Here we go. And then I'm going to add it to this layer. And of course, you could use either side of this paper. Both of them are beautiful. But I thought with the otters, this side would look more like kind of like water, which I think is pretty neat, right? So, so I got a little bit of glue there. Hang on. So this is the back of our card. This is going to be the front of our card. And I am going to go ahead and add this. Now, Naomi might have thought this was a really hard card to make, but it's pretty darn simple. I was, I'm, I've made these before many, many moons ago. Now, this piece right here is one inch by four and a quarter. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm grabbing my tear and tape. I really need this to be strong and not come off of my card front because this is where your mechanism goes. So I'm gonna take a little piece of tear and tape and add it to the side here, and another piece and add it to this side right over here. Okay, and pick off the back of your adhesive. Here comes this. We're gonna put this about three quarters of the way down or so on your card front, okay? And I just wanna make sure it's nice and straight. The paper is beautiful, isn't it? I know, Tanya, I agree with you. Okay, so, so far this is what we have, okay? Now, I've got four squares that are two by two. So you need four two by two squares in a coordinating color. Next, I need four white squares that are one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And this is where we're gonna start with our stamping. So I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna bring in my Memento ink because I'm gonna be using blends with my otters. And we're going to stamp this little guy right on here. 
cute, right? And then we are going to, oh, I got one more thing here I gotta do. We're gonna stamp. It's birthday time. And we're going to take that and stamp it kind of near the bottom of this strip that we, oh, that's so crooked. I was afraid that would happen. Hang on. I got another piece here ready, but I have to score it. So we're doing two, two and three quarters, two and three quarters, three and a half, and four and a quarter. Yep. Okay. I'm getting a new piece right now, you guys. Just hang on. I did that on the sample I was making too. See how crooked it is? That's going to make me crazy. I can't, I can't live with that. Let's try this again. I'm going to see... Okay, so I need to tilt it up just a little bit. Oh, that's so much better. Whew, thank you for allowing me to do that. I stamped it on the wrong place. <laughs> okay, so let's try that again. It's okay, because this is going to get covered up. So when you do this part, <laughs> so I'm keeping it real, people. When you do this part, you're going to stamp your message here. So let's see if I can get it straight again. Oh, I did. Woo! And then we're going to stamp this little guy. And I'm just going to stamp him above my message, just like that. Okay? <laughs> Good grief. All right, next, we're going to take one of these other squares and we're going to stamp you. You are utterly awesome. Otterly, utterly awesome. And I'm using the Memento Black ink for that. I'm going to stamp that right there. And then I'm going to come in with the birthday hat that's part of the set. That's stinking adorable. And I'm going to stamp that right over there. And then again, right here. So we got a couple birthday hats there. Don't worry if you go off the edge. It's okay. Don't let that deter you. All right, next up, we're going to take our swimming otter. Ah, he is just so cute, or she. I don't know why I always feel like otters are he's. That's a weird thing, isn't it? So there's that otter. And then we've got a little otter floating on his back, holding a fish that looks really sweet, but I know he's gonna eat it. So don't think the otters are really super sweet because they'll eat the fish. <laughs> The fish is not going to live. Okay, so here comes our other otter. And I'm just going to do this guy kind of like that on our square. Okay. Whew. I got through all that. Oh, I know. You know what? I'm thinking maybe, maybe we could do, oh, I don't know what. To, oh, I know. I'll do the paper. Hang on. I've got oh, I've got a whole pack of paper here. Will that fit? We'll do some paper on here to match. Here we go. We'll do this one. Hang on, I'm gonna cut this. Two and a half inches. So I'm gonna decorate the flap on this one because I can. I have lots and lots of this paper. I actually used this for my bingo last month, I think. We use this paper and oh my gosh, such pretty cards using this. And they had nothing to do with water or otters. They were just beautiful. How many of you are now decorating envelopes when you weren't before you started coming to my free classes? How many of you? Is that a new thing for you? Like, I know a lot of people just never really thought about it. I heard, I've heard from um, people who watch me, they're like, wow, I love your decorated envelopes, but I never even thought to decorate the envelope. <gasps> Yay. Okay, I gotta get a drink. Luba says she is. Carla says she is. Woohoo! Okay, now we're gonna have to color these, okay? So you're going to be patient and maybe I'll tell you some silly stories while I'm doing this because this is, you know, this is coloring is coloring. It's not something that goes fast. And I didn't do this early. Like I did not do this ahead of time because it was a day today. 
Well, quite frankly, because I needed a nap. <laughs> and I know you guys are okay with that, right? Because I'm, I'm nice and perky, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed tonight. I'm not feeling like I'm all like, oh, I'm so tired. So that's good. All right, what kind of story can I tell you? I think we're going to go visit my mom Friday morning. We're going to go to my mom's house, and then we're going to come home Saturday morning because, like, I got a lot of stuff to do this week. I have a dentist appointment on Wednesday, and this will probably be the first dentist appointment I think I've had since COVID. By the way, this is dark crumb cake, and I'm just getting um, a checkup. So then they're going to tell me if I have cavities, which ugh, I hate teeth. I probably do. Is there anybody else that watches that probably has like twenty to $50,000 in their mouth? <laughs> like that's what I feel like. Like I have so much invested in teeth. I just hate teeth. And I don't really care for going to the dentist either because I've had such a lot of work done that it's never good news when I get there. So... Maybe I'll let you guys know. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys. So next Sunday, I will not be on a live, but I, I am planning on making a live early. Like I'll pre-record something and then I want to do a premiere. And so I will post my link on Facebook and on my blog and all the places, probably out in a newsletter. And then you can click on it at seven o'clock or whatever on Sunday night when I would normally be on and I will set it as a premiere where I will be live in the comments. So I'll be there with you guys. I just won't be on the screen like this and able to talk to you in my voice to tell you different things. So I think I'm going to try doing that. And it all depends on what our schedule is once we get to um, Sarasota. Let's see. So I will be, uh, what am I saying? I will be live next Sunday night, the 23rd. It'll be the week after that, the 30th, that I won't be live. Sorry about that. I keep jumping the gun. I got so many things to do before we can leave. But um, anyways, I'm going to try that on the 30th to be in a premiere. And it depends on what we're doing that day. Because when we get to Sarasota, my cousins are going to be there. And we're gonna they're going to be showing us the town because this, this is their stomping grounds. Even though they live in Wisconsin, they used to live down in Florida. And they have a condo down there. So they're going to be showing us around. It depends on what we're doing Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. But I'm hoping to do a premiere. So just know that if I do the premiere, if I'm able to do that, I will be live with you guys in the comments, which is kind of neat. It's better than not being live at all, right? <laughs> And then the weeks after that, I will be live. So don't worry about that. I've got my video stand is going with me. Everything's going with me. <gasps> Aren't these just so cute, you guys? Okay, I did really... Oh, I got one more. Hang on. But yeah, Steve and I are planning on leaving on the 24th. So I will be live next week. I don't know what I was thinking. And then... Um, we're going to drive down. We're going to take our time. We're going to stop in Nashville. Maybe stay in Nashville a couple days before we head on to Sarasota. So we're just going to take a nice leisurely. And we're driving. We're not flying. Because, well, it's a long time to be gone and I need my stuff. <laughs> like, I hate flying because you're always restricted by that stupid weight on your suitcase. And I am not a light packer. I hope Cindy's watching on here tonight. Cindy Ellers... She can pack in like a little tiny compartment. I can't even get my underwear in a tiny compartment. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. She is a light packer and she's an efficient packer. Me, I'm like, cripes, my shoes won't even fit in that thing. <laughs> okay, there's our little guy with the dark crumb cake. And then I'm going to use the light crumb cake. And you don't have to be careful when you do this part because even if you go over the lines, it doesn't matter, right? Oh, I forgot. I got to do his nose dark. Hang on. But that's what I like about doing the dark part first and then coming in and doing the light part. And I just colored these. I didn't do any fancy shading or anything like that. I just used my Stampin' Blends as a color. 
But isn't that fun? Oh, this one I gotta be a little more careful. Because I don't wanna get my little water droplets colored. Okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna see how dark this is. I don't know if this is gonna be too dark. I think I might wanna try balmy blue instead, or maybe even coast. Do we have coastal cabana? What is this? This is, this is dark pool party. Maybe I'll just use dark pool party. How's that gonna look with our paper? Nah, I don't like that. Hang on. I wasn't quite sure what color I needed on here. Yeah, I think this is the color. I think this is, yep, this goes way better. Okay, so we're gonna do our little water droplets and then we're coloring in our little, like, I don't know if these are sea otters or if they're um, otters from the lake or river. <laughs> Does it really matter? Probably not. Okay, and then my bigger end. Ah, oh, Debbie didn't get any blending pens. Well, don't worry, Debbie. They can deliver again. <laughs> I know it's not that cool to pay minimum shipping, but if you put together a decent order, it would cost the same. It wouldn't matter. Okay, now I've got dark just jade, and I'm going to color my fish head with the dark just jade and the fish body with the light just jade. I just thought a green fish looked good. You could probably do yellow or orange too. I don't know. Okay, are we ready to do something here? Oh, we got to do our little hats. Our hats are blue though. Let's just color. I'm going to color a few things on our hats. Just the polka dots and the pom-pom at the top. Okay, there we go. All right, now you're gonna grab all of these and we're gonna glue our little squares on there. What time is it? I don't wanna make you guys crazy. Okay, it's 8.11, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> I don't want anybody blaming me because they can't get up for work tomorrow, right? <laughs> all right. You're gonna glue the one and three quarter inch squares onto the two inch squares. Look at how cute they are, aren't they cute? Ah. I live on salt water and otters play on my dock. They are a hoot to watch, right, Linda? Oh my gosh, I would so love to watch otters play. They are just, they're such fun little creatures. They can be quite vicious too, so don't ever try to catch one. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know that firsthand. I've never tried to catch one, but I have seen someplace that they can be kind of nasty. Well, they're a wild animal. They may look cute like squirrels. Squirrels look really cute. They are vicious as all get out. They're horrible little animals. Okay, <laughs> that's just my opinion. Now, what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to take our tear and tape. And there's two different ways you can do this. You can put your tear and tape on the top of the back of each one of these, but what I think is a better idea is to put it on each one of these little panels, okay? So, because this is two inches, this is only one and seven eighths inches, so you wouldn't want it to go all the way from edge to edge on the back of here if you choose to do it that way, okay? But you can make it go all the way from edge to edge on this little white piece. I'm gonna put another one just right here. Okay, here we go. So I'm putting this at the at the edge or very close to each score line on this white panel. That's the way I'm going to do it. Let me throw that in the garbage. Oh, Betty Beckham. Betty, will you email me, please? Becky says, if you, or Betty says, if you forget something, I have it. I am 12 miles from you and I will bring it if I'm home. Oh, thank you so much. Betty, email me, Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at symbol, a stamp above .com. That is just the best news ever. I am so excited now. I reached out to a couple demonstrators that I know down in Florida, but they never got back to me. So like I've met them before in real life. But they never answered me, so I'm like, oh, I don't know what's going on there. 
Yeah. Okay. So here we go. We are going to, well, let's do this one first. I don't think it matters which one you do first, but I'm going to do the guy in the water. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I'm going to do the guy in the water and put him right here. Okay, so I've centered him from side to side. That looks good. Next, I'm going to put my You Are Otterly Awesome with the party hats, just like this. And you want to line it up with the one down here and the score line. So I've got it right at the score line and then lined up with this one. Yay! And then we're going to do this guy. I'm just trying to stagger them so that I don't end up with two of the same because there's only three otters and I've got them stamped four times. So again, I'm lining it up with the one under it and the top of the score line. Just like that. Okay, so they are all in a row. And then the last one goes on the top here. And Naomi, oh my gosh, your granddaughter is going to have a blast with this. It is so super duper cute. Okay, so now you're going to take this piece. And if you want to, you could make this Misty Moonlight layer be a 11 by four and a quarter card and make it be a card, but I did it, right? So that this wouldn't be in here, it'd be inside your card. You could do that if you want. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it in here. You're gonna center this right here. And I am going to, you want to nail this, this layer right here onto this blue layer. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take my tear and tape, which is right here, and I'm going to keep this centered. I wanna make sure that this doesn't get goofy on me. I'm gonna hold on, whoops, it moved. So bring it back down, don't let it move on you. I'm gonna hold it down like this. That looks good, hang on to it. I am going to put this right in here. I'm gonna pick this off. Now notice that the white, the long white piece is under this. And then we're gonna close this, okay? Now, when you hold onto this, here's your waterfall. Isn't that cute? Yeah! Oh my gosh, you guys, is that not the coolest thing ever? And all you've done is make that mechanism in there to do that. Now, we have to do something here. So that's why I have this ribbon. And I'm just going to take a hole puncher. And I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to put a hole in it so I can insert some ribbon. And I want to put it up fairly, not too close to the bottom, because people are going to play with this. And you don't want it to be too close because they'll tear it out, right? So now I'm going to... thread this ribbon through and I think what I'll do is I'll just make it a little longer than I normally would and I am going to just tie this now like this this ribbon's really nice too because it lays down flat which is super cool Okay, so I'm gonna trim this to make it look pretty. Okay, well, here we go. Now, one thing I forgot to do is, oh, I've got this, this is colored with the wrong color. I had a little hat colored with pool party. So I'm going to find a little white, oh, I can use this one that I jacked up, right? <laughs> I am going to stamp a little hat with memento black, and then I'm going to color it in with my balmy blue. I'm gonna cut this out and put it on my inside guy. My inside, oh, I almost cut the ball off of it. Oh, nobody needs their balls cut off, right? Nope. Yeah, I know I caught that. Who's laughing? 
<laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Here we go. I see some laughies now. <laughs> nice. I'm glad you guys are on the ball tonight. That's what I like to see. Pretty witty, right? You guys are pretty witty. Okay. Okay, so I just cut that little guy out. You saw how easy that was. Now, if you're going to put anything on here, you have to be careful because this needs to slide up under this band that goes across here. So what I recommend is that you get, like before, I didn't glue down the little, the ball. <laughs> so make sure you glue everything down so that it doesn't cause interference in your sliding mechanism. So you need to make sure that ball is glued down. Maybe I wouldn't put a hat on there. It's kind of getting stuck. Okay. Now, if you want to, you could put a little post-it note on here that says pull. So that when people get this card, they know to pull it. But usually when you have ribbon like that, people know it needs to be pulled, right? The only other thing that I want to do here is add, of course, some embellishments. Oh, I've got some different. No, we'll use those on. Oh, uh, let me see. Hang on, I've got some different embellishments that are really cool. I'm gonna use these. These are the silver and clear epoxy dots. And the cool thing about these, uh, we've got some diamond ones. Let's see, those are diamonds, diamonds. We've got some drops, like water droplets, okay? So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see what it's gonna look like if I color one of these blue. Yep, it looks blue. So I'm just gonna color some of these blue with a Stampin' Blend. It has to be an alcohol marker. Regular markers will not work to color this. It'll just wipe off. So now you can put some little droplets on here. They're gonna show up best on your white parts, right? Um, how about right here? How about right there? And how about, we'll do one more right up here. Yeah, hang on. There we go. Do you see those? Isn't that cute? Okay, so here's our waterfall card. Naomi, your nine-year-old granddaughter. I wish I knew her name. She is going to love this. What do you guys think? Ah! Yeah, Debbie says you can't assume they know to pull. I had a guy call me because he couldn't figure out how to remove a belly band. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I just don't have anything that would be really useful to say there, Debbie. <laughs> but it does make me laugh. Sometimes boys are dumb. Okay. <laughs> there, I said it. All right, I'm going to put these. Oh, we're going to use those. All right, you guys. So here's the scoring for our adorable card. Do you guys want to see another one I made? I know you do. Look at this little baby. This is Coastal Cabana with a white base. I use the same. Um, marvelous, the Simply Marvelous paper. This ribbon right here is, the gingham ribbon is from the Flowers for Every Season ribbon combo pack. You get three different kinds of ribbon in there. And this is the same card, just different colors. Is that not stinking adorable? <gasps> ah! There we go. Don't say it, Kelly. <laughs> If you can't laugh, you're you're in the wrong place because there's lots to laugh about. <laughs> what do you guys think? Super duper. See, there's that hat getting a little stuck again. I just had to kind of push it back in there. But there's the scoring dimensions for the mechanism. And then you can really do anything else you want with the card. I decorated an envelope here for this one. I didn't do the other one. Let's see. It is... What time is it? Let me look at my... Oh, I bought myself an Apple Watch for Christmas. Did I tell you guys that? I really do like it. Do you see who's on there? Little Miss Val. I had some pictures of Molly too, but I can only get two photos to stay on here. So when you go like this, there's Val with her fingers up her nose. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, here's our cards from tonight. We've got this one using the Sunshine and Rainbows. And this one using the Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. And now I'm going to show you guys my mail. Are you ready for some mail? Who's ready for mail? 
Yes, Stampin' Up! does need to make a pull stamp, right? That would be great. Look at this. This comes to me from Shannon West. I just got a card from her not too long ago. You are the best. It says, Kelly, well, look at you just rolling right along. Another sales milestone. Woohoo! Congrats on your 1.2 million. I think maybe my other card was from Sarah. But this is from Shannon West. She's my development, my demonstrator development manager from the home office in Utah. So thank you, Shannon. I know once in a while she watches me. Then I have this little cutie patootie. Look at this. It's a little thing of Kleenex, like travel Kleenex. Isn't that the sweetest thing? Yeah. And it says, hi, Kelly. Hope you are well on your way to well, LOL, by the time this tissue reaches you. Sharon Kersey. Sharon, by the way, um, <laughs> she says, sorry, Steve, it's Kelly's turn. Sharon's the one who makes the cards with the matching towels. And she sends a new towel because we know that Steve ruins them all because that's he's the reason why I can't have nice things. <laughs> so this time it's for me, this cute little tissue holder. And I think I'll show you guys how to make this because these are really sweet. And you can just put in a little padded envelope and send it to somebody who's not feeling well, right? So Sharon, I have to tell you, I just got a thank you card back for the towel that you sent me at Christmas time. I sent you a thank you card. I forgot to put the zip code on it and they returned it to me like yesterday. So it's back in the mail on Tuesday. Sorry about that. Yeah, super cute though, right? Okay, let me see. Oh, do I not have any more mail? Oh yeah, I do. Hang on. Here it comes. Here comes my mail. I got more. Here is Kelly and Steve sharing with you the glory, wonder, and miracle of this holy season. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, I love that stamp set. I hope this new year is filled with blessings beyond your expectations. This is from Debbie Bach. Yay! And I have to show you, Debbie said she bought these before Christmas so she could send them to me. And girlfriend, I think I was almost out of candy corn. So I not only got one bag, that girl sent me the autumn mix and the regular and I love me some candy corn. So thank you so much, Debbie. You are the best. I am excited to eat those. What else do I have? Oh, and by the way, for those of you that follow me, I did not, I did not eat all the ding dongs yet. I still have some in here as you can see. So as long as I keep them up here and not in with the milk in the kitchen, I will eat less of them. <laughs> Here we have a beautiful, beautiful card. This is also from Debbie Bach. It says, thank you so much for the happy mail. Friendly hello stamp set and paper. I can't wait to use it. The paper is so much prettier in person. It is, isn't it? Whoa. And she is, um, she greatly appreciates all my hard work in making and keeping this amazing team. Debbie, thank you so much. Debbie is one of my team members. She does our um, company updates at our team meeting every month. So I am just grateful to have her. This one is from Lois Fair Fireherm. I think I said that right this time, Lois. Look at how pretty that is. I love that. I love it. And it says, you are truly special. Thank you for all your wonderful inspirations. I am late getting my winter cards out, but they are out. That's all that matters, Lois. I hope you don't have the cold we had. It was, hang on. It was way below. It was way below. Oh, the cold weather. It was way below most of the day and going down again tonight, 26 below at noon today. Brr, that's cold. Where does she live? Hang on. I should know that. New England. No. Norfolk. Nebraska. Nebraska. No. Where's NE, you guys? Yeah, it must be Nebraska. Is that Nebraska? The initials NE for, um, I usually know this, but of course my brain doesn't really work that great. This one came from my niece, and I thought it was super cute. And I'm like, wow, that card looks familiar. It's because I made it <laughs> many moons ago. She says, Kelly and Steve, thank you for the Christmas gifts you got me. I love them. I can't wait to use my Maurice's gift card. Sending hugs, Emma. This is from my niece, Emma. Yay. I always love to get her, like, clothing gift cards, right? So she can go buy whatever she wants. Then we have this beauty from Mary Benke. So N-E is Nebraska. I think it is Nebraska. I think you're right. Yeah, I know you are. 
Nebraska. Okay, we got confirmation. It's Nebraska. Look at how pretty this card is. It's so bright and cheerful. Mary Banky from Menominee, Michigan. Thank you very much for all the things you gave me. You are so welcome, Mary. Yay! Uh, one more. Are you ready for this? Because I think we're going to have to make this one. This is from Sandy Armstrong. Okay, so I this is one that I had a little hard time opening. I'm not going to lie. So Haley grabbed it because I'm like, how do you open this? I don't know how to open it. I don't know what's going on, but it is so beautiful. And look at that. It slides. It slides, and this piece is tucked under there, and then it opens. Haley figured it out. How pretty is this? Look at that. It says, thank you for the bow maker replacement. So Sandy, you stinker, if you're watching, Sandy ordered one of my bow jigs and I sent it to her. They're $10. And then she sent it back to me because the wood was cracked and it was like a split in the wood. When I got it back, I went like this. It busted right in half. So I sent her a new one. That stinker sent me this beautiful card and sent me another $10. You shouldn't have done that. That was like... No, I needed to make the bow maker right. So anyways, this card was more than enough because I'm going to have to show you guys how to make this because it is beautiful, isn't it? I love cool folds like this, and this one even moves. So there you go. I think there's some chocolate cake calling my name. Um, I'm pretty sure that I can switch this around. Let's see if I can switch it around. It used to kick me off when I did that, so I stopped doing it. But anyways, don't forget about my host code. I always appreciate your orders, you guys. Thank you so much for spending the night with me. I always appreciate you taking a little bit of time. Hi, Molly Joe. Come on over and say hi. Here's Molly. Did you eat cake yet? Yeah. Are you going to have some more? No. I'm I going ate two pieces. I'm going for the cake. You already had two pieces? Yeah. So it's good. It's delicious. Okay. My cake is good. Um, I always appreciate you guys taking time out of your night to spend with me. It, it's what makes it so much fun. Now remember, I am not leaving until the 24th. So I will be live next Sunday on the 23rd. And then we're going to take off out of here on the 24th. And please email me if you are near Sarasota or in Sarasota so that I can have some contact with some people. That would be awesome. And uh, thank you guys so much for, for stamping with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the projects. And I want you to make them. They're so fun. Everybody's saying, hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Yay. We're glad Molly's out of school tomorrow. Okay. I got to go get some cake and milk. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.